A desperate family with a dying son had to travel across the country for treatment. After exhausting all options, they ended up calling Donald Trump for help. What happened next went completely viral. The only hope left for Andrew, just three years old, was an experimental treatment at Schneider Children's Hospital in New York. However, the problem was getting the sick little boy there in the first place. The Tens lived on the opposite coast, and the journey for someone as ill as Andrew seemed practically impossible. To everyone but the Tens, the risks outweighed the potential gains. But this was their little boy, and they were willing to do anything to save him. Harold and Judy Ten just wanted their son back. As a last-ditch effort, they called the only man they could think of. They had been encouraged by friends and family to reach out to Donald Trump. In 1988, Trump was already a well-known figure, a real estate magnate who was bold and perhaps a little dramatic. Yet he had a reputation for helping those who needed it most, and the Tens were out of options. Despite their fear and doubts, the Tens made a desperate plea. Their son was dying, and they needed help. But they couldn't imagine that Trump, a larger-than-life figure, would even respond. Why would he? To their shock, without hesitation, Donald Trump responded. He agreed to send his private Boeing 72611 to Los Angeles to transport Andrew to New York. For the Tens, this act of kindness was nothing short of a miracle. With his jet prepared and ready, Trump arranged for a crew to be on standby to accommodate the special needs of the child. This incredible act of generosity would be lost over time, remembered only by the Tens for the enormous impact it had on their lives. Trump never used the story for political gain, so for many years hardly anyone knew about it. In 1988, there was no social media. But when the story re-emerged almost 30 years later, it went completely viral. News archives were explored to piece together the lives of Andrew and his parents, and how Donald Trump had come to their rescue all those years ago. The Tens were a devout Jewish family from Los Angeles, facing a nightmare no parent should have to endure. Their three-year-old son Andrew was suffering from a rare and undiagnosed breathing condition. Andrew had been a healthy baby at birth, but everything changed when he was just 10 months old. Without warning, he stopped breathing. His parents, Harold and Judy, were. When they reached out to Donald Trump for help, and Trump, without hesitation, agreed to send his private jet to transport Andrew to New York. When the jet landed in Los Angeles, the crew immediately began the complicated process of preparing Andrew for the flight. It was a tangle of medical equipment and caregivers, all ensuring that the young boy was safe and comfortable. Harold and Judy sat by their son's side during the five-hour flight, hearts filled with both fear and hope. This was the first real chance their son had at life. When the plane landed at LaGuardia Airport, a medical team was waiting to rush Andrew to Schneider Children's Hospital. Andrew's grandparents, who had flown out to meet them, stood by with tears in their eyes, praying for a miracle. Andrew's arrival at Schneider marked the beginning of a new chapter in his fight for life. It was the first time his parents dared to think about the future. Though the treatment provided him with temporary relief and gave them hope, the miracle they prayed for never fully materialized. After 10 long years of battling his illness, Andrew passed away. His death was a devastating blow to his family. But in his memory, Harold and Judy sponsored Camp Abraham Moshe, a summer camp for Jewish teens and young adults with special needs located in Los Angeles. The camp was named after Andrew's Hebrew name and was dedicated to providing a safe and fun environment for children facing their own challenges. The Tens never forgot the kindness shown to them by Donald Trump. In their eyes, he had saved their son and given them precious time with him. And though Andrew ultimately lost his battle, Trump's intervention had given them years they otherwise wouldn't have had. For decades, this story remained largely unknown. Trump, who often enjoyed the limelight, never spoke of the incident. He had promised to help without wanting anything in return. When the story resurfaced nearly 30 years later, it reignited a discussion about the nature of Trump's character. People began to see a different side to the man who would eventually become the 45th president of the United States. For the Tens, however, the story was never about politics. It was about a moment when a man with the means to help chose to do so without hesitation, something they would always be thankful for. For the Tens, the story wasn't about fame, politics, or gaining public favor. It was about a simple act of humanity when they needed it the most. In 1988, Trump wasn't a politician seeking votes. 
He was simply a man who saw a desperate family in need and chose to help. That's what Harold and Judy would always remember him for, the man who answered their call when no one else would. As the story resurfaced and went viral, it sparked widespread conversations about the nature of kindness and how often it goes unnoticed. Some readers were surprised to learn about Trump's quiet act of generosity, seeing it as a contrast to his usual public image. Others found it a reminder that people, no matter how controversial, can still possess compassion and a willingness to help. The media frenzy brought with it debates about the portrayal of public figures and how often stories are misunderstood or manipulated. Many who initially believed the act of kindness was a calculated political move were shocked to learn that the incident had happened decades before Trump even considered running for office. For Harold and Judy Ten, the resurfacing of the story brought back bittersweet memories. The retelling of Andrew's fight for life and Trump's role in extending that fight reminded them of the difficult journey they had faced and the immeasurable loss they had endured. Yet it also allowed them to honor Andrew's memory and share with the world the depth of their gratitude for the years they were able to spend with him. Trump's gesture wasn't something the Ten saw as a political statement. It was an act of pure compassion that gave them precious time with their son. To them, that would always be more significant than any title, office, or reputation. In the end, it wasn't just a story about a famous man helping a struggling family. It was a testament to the power of kindness and how it can shape lives in ways we may never fully understand. The Talmudic saying that he who saves one person is as if he has saved the entire world resonated deeply with the tens. For them, Donald Trump had done exactly that. He had saved their world, even if only for a little while. And as the story spread, it not only rekindled the legacy of Andrew, but also reminded people around the globe that sometimes even the most unlikely individuals can offer a lifeline when it's needed the most. What do you think of this story? Do you know of any other quiet acts of kindness carried out by famous people? We'd love to hear your thoughts, so please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.